Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to derive the equation of the common chord for two intersecting circles. Let's suppose we have a circle like this, whose equation is given as x squared plus y squared plus 2g sub 1 x plus 2 f sub 1 y plus c sub 1 is equal to 0. And let's denote that as s sub 1 equals 0. So the left hand side expression of the equation is denoted by s sub 1. So we can say that this equation of the circle can be denoted by s sub 1 equals 0. Next I am going to take another circle and let's suppose the equation of this circle has been given as x squared plus y squared plus 2g sub 2x plus 2f sub 2y plus c sub 2 is equal to 0 and I am going to denote that as s sub 2 equals 0. I mean the left hand side expression of the second equation is s sub 2 and then the entire equation can be noted as s sub 2 equals 0. Now let's see how the common chord looks like. If we draw a straight line through the points of intersection then that will be the common chord between the two circles. It will be a chord for the first circle as well as it will be a chord for the second circle and we call it a common chord because the chord has been drawn through the points of intersection of the two circles. And let's suppose the points of intersection are like this. The top one is point A whose coordinates can be assumed as x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and the bottom one is let's say B whose coordinates can be assumed as x sub 2 comma y sub 2. Since both the circles go through the point A then A's coordinates must satisfy the equation of both circles. So if we satisfy the first equation with the coordinates of A then we can say that x sub 1 squared plus y sub 1 squared plus 2g sub 1 x sub 1 plus 2f sub 1 y sub 1 plus c sub 1 is equal to 0. That's the equation of the first circle and I have plugged in x sub 1 and y sub 1 in place of x and y. Similarly, if we satisfy the second equation, I mean the equation of the second circle with the coordinates of point A, then that equation is going to look like this. It will be x sub 1 squared plus y sub 1 squared plus 2g sub 2 x sub 1 plus 2 f sub 2 y sub 1 plus c sub 2 is equal to 0. Now the same thought can be applied to the second point. I mean the coordinates of point B should also satisfy both the equations. Now if we satisfy the first equation with the coordinates of B then it's going to look like this and let's also satisfy the second equation with the coordinates of B and that is going to look like this. Next I'm going to take the first set of equations the ones in the red box and I'm going to subtract the second one from the first one. If we do that then the result will look like this because the x sub 1 squared on both equations will cancel out each other because I'm subtracting the second one from the first one. Similarly the y sub 1 squared will also cancel out each other and we are going to be left with 2g sub 1 x sub 1 minus 2g sub 2 x sub 1. So the 2 and the x sub 1 would be the common factors there and we will have g sub 1 minus g sub 2 and similarly we will have 2 and y sub 1 as the common factors and we will have f sub 1 minus f sub 2 as the other factor and on the constant terms we will have c sub 1 minus c sub 2. So essentially from the red box if I subtract the second equation from the first equation the result is going to look like this. The one that I have on the left hand side here in light green color that is the result of subtracting the second equation from the first equation in the red box. And similarly let's take the other set of equations. I have enclosed it in a white box. So here again we are going to subtract the second equation from the first equation and the result is going to look like this. Here the x sub 2 squared will cancel out each other between both equations and the y sub 2 squared will also cancel out each other in both equations and we are going to be left with something like this. It would be 2 times g sub 1 minus g sub 2 times x sub 2 plus 2 times f sub 1 minus f sub 2 times y sub 2 plus c sub 1 minus c sub 2 is equal to 0. I hope things are clear up to this point. Now if you look at these two equations on the left hand side, the first equation can be expressed like this. If we assume that 2 times g sub 1 minus g sub 2 is lowercase a and if we assume 2 times f sub 1 minus f sub 2 as lowercase b and if we assume c sub 1 minus c sub 2 as lowercase c then the first equation on the left hand side can be expressed like this. And similarly the second equation on the left hand side can be expressed like this. Now if you look at these two equations, the two green equations on the left hand side, they essentially represent the equation of a straight line and seems like their generic form can be perceived as ax plus by plus c equals 0. And as if this equation of straight line has been satisfied by the coordinates of two different points. 
So essentially they represent just an equation of a straight line and the general form of that equation can be imagined as ax plus by plus c equals 0. And here if you carefully notice x sub 1 and y sub 1 they are the coordinates of the first point of intersection which is the point A up above and x sub 2 and y sub 2 they are the coordinates of the second point of intersection which is the point B. So here we can see that we have the equation of a straight line that satisfies the coordinates of point A and point B. Now through two different points how many straight lines can we draw? Well from geometry we know that we can draw only one straight line through two given points. So in this case if the two given points are A and B then we can draw only one straight line and by the way that straight line will be nothing but the common chord because we can draw only one straight line through two given points and in this case the two points are A and B and we can see the equation of a straight line which satisfies the coordinates of both A and B. So we can safely assume that the equation of this common chord will be AX plus BY plus C equals 0 where A is equal to 2 times g sub 1 minus g sub 2, b is equal to 2 times f sub 1 minus f sub 2 and c is equal to c sub 1 minus c sub 2. So now if we replace the values of a, b and c, the equation is going to look like this. It will be 2 times g sub 1 minus g sub 2 times x plus 2 times f sub 1 minus f sub 2 times y plus c sub 1 minus c sub 2 is equal to 0 and that is the equation of the common chord. And if you carefully look at it, you will realize that this is actually S sub 1 minus S sub 2. Now why do I say so? Because S sub 1 was like this and S sub 2 was like this and if we subtract the second one from the first one, I mean if we do S sub 1 minus S sub 2, you can realize what will happen, right? The x squared terms will cancel out each other, the y squared terms will cancel out each other and we will be left with 2 times g sub 1 minus g sub 2 times x plus 2 times f sub 1 minus f sub 2 times y plus c sub 1 minus c sub 2. So the green equation here is essentially S sub 1 minus minus s sub 2 equals 0. So it's very easy to derive the equation of the common chord. You just have to subtract the two equations of the circle and the result will be the equation of the common chord. Next we are going to take an example. Let's suppose we have an example like this. It says find the equation of the common chord for these two circles and the equations have been given x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 8y minus 11 equals 0 and x squared plus y squared minus 14x plus 6y plus 42 is equal to 0. We have just seen that the equation of common chord can be noted as s sub 1 minus s sub 2 equals 0. Let's assume that the first equation of the circle is represented as s sub 1 1 equals 0 and the second one is represented as s sub 2 equals 0. So if we subtract both of them, we subtract the second one from the first one, then it is going to look like this. Now let's remove the parenthesis. The equation will look like this and from here you can see that the x squared terms will cancel out each other and similarly the y squared terms will also cancel out each other and we are going to be left with 8x minus 14y minus 53 is equal to 0. And that is the equation of the common chord for these two circles. So you see how simple it is to find the equation of the common chord. All you have to do is you have to express both equations of the circle in terms of x squared plus y squared plus etc. And then you subtract them and finally the squared terms will disappear and we will be left with just a plain linear equation and that equation will actually be the equation of the common chord. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.